Cruiser Chaggers. I may I say it's nice to be back. Is it nice to be back? Yeah! I don't believe a word of them. <laughs> right, as usual, we've got the best in music, the best groups, and of course the best games. And you've guessed it, here I am, the best compere. <laughs> you can be replaced, you know. I should come to think of it, so can I. <laughs> All right, we kick off with this one. The song's called Don't Tell Me. Will you please welcome Glumont? <laughs> Sure, I should be high above. I climbed the mountain, reaching for the skies. And all too soon I jump the moon and find I'm losing my mind. Go tell me I'm the howling wind. Go tell me you're the wounded star. Go tell me I'm the devil's friend. Go tell me, go tell me I've gone too far. And don't tell me. And right now, it's my pleasure and my privilege to tell you, yes, our special guest star team captains. First of all, for the Reds, Teresa Bazaar! <laughs> so how are you? I mean, are you a fit person? Are you ready for this? I'm as ready as they are. And are you? We're ready. What sort of, I mean, what sort of exercise do you do? Um, I bought a skipping rope yesterday. Really? Have you mm. done much with it yet? No, I haven't taken it out of the wrapper. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Are you ready for the show? Yes. Nice to have you on it. Would you like to introduce your Cheggers Reds? Yes. The Reds today. The Invincible Reds are Glossop Comp. Woo! <laughs> and there they all are. You may have noticed their little red jackets over. Stand up. Let's have a look at your jackets on you Cheggers. Turn round. Turn round. Give us a, give us a little twirl. Wonderful. There we go. They'd they do anything great. to get on the telly, won't they? <laughs> all right. Good luck to them. Good luck to the Yellows as well. And our special guest star. Yes. David Grant, the man himself for the Yellows. Do I look all right? Do I look okay? You look okay. The guys on the team said you didn't look quite fit. Is that true? Uh, yeah, do you so mean, are you saying that I'm not a fit person? Yeah. Hey? Yeah. So how do you reckon I, I could sort of, you know, get myself up to your sort of ability and stuff? Well, I was, I, was watch, <laughs> I was watching them outside, you see, and they said I should show you an exercise to do. Go on, then. So, yeah, okay. yeah, all right. Yeah, right. go on. Now, every morning when you jump out of bed... Or right, this is what I should Spring do. into the middle of the floor and go... go. Very good. Do that about three dozen times and you'll feel great. <laughs> I've got a funny feeling he's going to make me look stupid. Is that right? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> all right, who's your team? <laughs> the undisputed champions, the Waverley Middle School. <laughs> there they are. Good luck to our two teams and our first challenge. Simple competition, though. All they've got to do is roll this rather large token across, well, like that, to Cathy, who catches it with her rather large arms. Show us your arms. There we go. I was going to get you lot to give her a big hand, but, uh, uh, 
<laughs> All right, once you've done that, it's up to these chaps over here to push our magic roundabout around. But as you can see, can I turn you around here? Have a look at him. He's blindfolded. You can't see anything? No, I can't. Do I look all right? Yep. I don't get <laughs> I don't get that one. <laughs> All right. <laughs> the idea of the competition is right to pass the token to their fellow teammates in the audience. Two points for each one in there. So good luck with the game. And it's up to Teresa to tell them when to stop and go. Title of one of your records, that one. Yeah, I don't remember how it goes though. No, neither do I. Good job, really, isn't it? <laughs> good luck with the game. With one, two, three. <laughs> token gesture of effort there from both teams. You enjoyed that one. They were wonderful. I, I saw you bouncing and wiggling around and cheering them on. I must say that there's this, that young man there, Daniel. He was terrific. He did it all for him, did they? Yes, did. Oh. All right, we need a bit of scoring. How many have you got up there? I don't know. Two points for each one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Eighteen points to the Reds. OK. And over here for the Yellows, David, come over the way there. Good game, good game. Great game. I'm, I'm good at playing we're games. Just, we're just warming up. We want to lull them into a pulse. All right, point-wise, how many have you got up there? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six, so that's 12 points to the yellows, and they go on to our checkered scoreboard. <laughs> hey, OK, right now it's time for the most challenging part of the show as we put our two teams on the spot. This is where I get them to do something silly. It could be daft, it could be an impression, it could be a song. If it's pretty good, we give them some points for it. So let's have the house lights down, please. Yes, let's make it really moody here. And I'll tell you what, let's have a bit of music, because here we go with On The Spot. And there go our spotlights. Yes, thank you for someone to be on the spot. Who's the spotlight landed on? For the yellows over the way there, the man himself come out. Give him a round of applause. Lovely. Great job getting up here, and let's have a look over there for the Reds. It landed on this man, and he's straight out, no trouble at all. Do you know the song Old MacDonald's Farm? Yeah. All you want you to do is sing it in a real deep voice, OK? Mm -hmm. All right, you have the microphone like that. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for the man himself. Give him a round of applause with Old MacDonald's Farm. <laughs> Old MacDonald's <laughs> Farm. E-I-E-I-O. Old MacDonald's Farm. E-I-E-I-O. I want you to sing it in a real butch, sort of deep voice, okay? Just let it rip, do a real Frank Sinatra stuff. Away you go. Oh, my God, hard to find. E I E I O. And on that farm, we are just E I E I O. Lovely. He sounded like Mavis out of Coronation Street, didn't he? All right, I think they both did a grand job. We'll give them four points each for that, and they go on to our checker scoreboard. part of the show, yes, the part of the show where your knees tremble and your heart goes boom, boom, boom. Hotbox quick quiz. Hello, teams. Hello. Hello. Nice to see you. There they all are, the Reds. Are you looking forward to this? Yeah. 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 Bit yeah. nerve-wracking. <laughs> <laughs> all right, some questions coming up for you on videos. Have a look at this, and I'll ask you some questions about it. Here we go. It's raining, man.
just makes me weep when I try how I try. I know what it means to work hard on machines. It's a labor of love, so please don't ask me why. Jonathan's a favourite of the Thompson Twins. You must have liked that one. All right, some questions coming up for you. If you know the answer, flip your lid. Two points for the right answer. Here we go. In the right order, who are the groups in that video? Suzanne. Weather girls, raining men, Depeche Mode, people are people, Coach Club, it's a miracle, Thompson Twins, take me up. OK, well done, there you go. How many weather girls had umbrellas? Jonathan again. Two. Yes, both of them had umbrellas. Name any of the Thompson Twins. Jonathan. Tom Bailey. Correct. What was the girl in the Culture Club video? What was she actually playing? Jonathan. Monopoly. No, she was actually playing a computer, a keyboard on a computer. All right, can anyone spell Depeche Mode backwards? Yes? E-D-O-M-E-H-C-E-P-E-D. -E -E you read it backwards from your notes, didn't you? <laughs> well done for taking the notes down. OK, and at the end of that, yellows have scored two, but the reds are in the lead with six. Well done! Yeah! OK, more hot boxing in a minute, but meanwhile, we take a break for some music. This is a smashing song. It's called Just My Imagination. Would you please welcome some great guys, Modern Romance! <laughs> Thank you. 
imagination for modern romance. Do you know what? I was going to release that as a single. Hey, they pit me to it. Do you like my singing? Yeah. Hey? <laughs> All right. Well, I'm going to ask you some questions. <laughs> to another blockbusting edition of Cheggers. Nice to be here. Certainly hope you all had a good Easter holiday. Did you lot have a good Easter holiday? Yeah! Good news. If you're at home, sit back and relax. We've got a smashing show lined up for you. Music and games. We kick off with this one. This year's entry for the Eurovision Song Contest. Will you please welcome Belle and the Devotions? <laughs> Devotions and love games, we wish them all the, all the best in the Eurovision Song Contest with that one. We also wish our special guest presenters a lot of luck too. And they're here, yes, mug enough to play our games, Captain of the Cheggers Reds, Sue Ingle! <laughs> nice to see you. Hey, actually, Wild Track comes back soon, doesn't it? Yeah, that's right. May the 22nd is back straight after your show. So you have to follow us, do you? Yes. Difficult job, you know. Uh. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> what can we see you getting up to on Wild Track? Anything different? Well, I'm going to jump out of a plane at 2,000 feet with a parachute. Oh, I say, you'd do anything for money, won't you? <laughs> <laughs> You'll do anything for us, though, won't you? Well, almost. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> how does our show compare with yours? Is there any, 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 any way? Uh, plenty of wild animals. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and who's your team? Right, it's Mornington High School from Hindley. Yeah! There they are. Good luck to the Reds, good luck to the Yellows. They got a smashing guest star, Team Captain. We're usually having in a singing capacity, but this time we're lucky, because he's our special guest star, Rocky Sharp! <laughs> 
I like the comb. <laughs> nice yeah. to have you. You're actually on tour at the moment, aren't yeah. you? Just sharpening up uh, before the game start. Yeah, we're on tour with uh, Cannon and Ball, oh, I believe. Be yeah, one, it's right? a lot of fun. It's yeah. a lot of fun. So if you're in the vicinity where we're touring, go and see it. Do I get a free yeah. ticket? Of course. <laughs> of course. I, I wouldn't it. be on the show, I would. <laughs> <wouldn't I? laughs> oh, <laughs> this lot got free tickets. Who's your team? Oh. My team, they are the one and only Two Trees High School from Denton in Manchester. <laughs> There are the yellows. Good luck to them as well. And here we go with our first game. See this lot over here? They're blobs. Hello, blobs. Oh. <laughs> what? A, they all look like Cyril Smith lookalikes, don't they? <laughs> right, well, our blobs, like a game of snoot, you see. And what they've got to do is go through this little gate. And being a bit large, it's not that easy, you know. But, of course, me being of slim build can easily slip through here. Once they've gone through the arch, it's over our little bridge, like that, down to our snooker triangle at the end. Once all six blobs are in there, they've won the game. The first team to do it gets 20 points, 10 points for our runners up. Actually, I'm a fan of snooker. You know, you know Steve Davis. Do you know Steve Davis? Yeah! He's gone on a vegetable diet because the doctor said he needs more greens. <coughs> oh, here we go. One, two, three. <laughs> and away. Jumping up and down, they look so silly. Oh, you didn't do it. Oh, I know. Well, I suppose we have to go to the end of queue sometime. The end of the queue, queue not please. bad. Ten points to the reds. Over here at the yellows, they did. Hello, hello, little bobs. Oh, oh, all bouncing oh, up and down. Well done. That's what's known as going out in a base of glory. <laughs> oh, very oh, good. Terrible. Base of glory. All right, we put them onto our little mm. table. That's our checker scoreboard. Lovely, 20 plays 10, and here we go with the knee trembling, mind boggling, hot box quick quiz. Hello, teams. Hello. Hello. Nice to see you. Okay, playing for the Reds, we've got Darren and Lisa. Hello. Oh. Looking forward to this. Yeah. Yeah. Good news. And playing for the Yellow, Sarah and Shane. Hello. Hello. Are you looking forward to this as well? Yeah. yeah. Is it because I'm here? No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good luck with the game. You know the answer, you get two points for the right answer, and you can have a little twirl if you like. Yes, Lisa, show us what you have to do. Look at that. I said I needed a few fans on the programme. OK, two points for the right answer. Videos first. Have a look at some of these and I'll ask you some questions.
and some of my favourite sounds there. And here we go with the questions. First of all, can you name any three groups you saw in the video? Darren. Banana Rama. Yeah. Special Aka and Break Machine. Yeah, you got your two points. Well done. Right, in the last part of the video, what was written on some people's hats? What was written on their hats? Ooh, any guesses? No, it was street Dance, one of my favourite records. What was written on their hats was Break Machine, the name of the group. OK, in the Banana Rama video, what was in the violin case? Darren again. Pizza. Yeah. OK, in the third video, you saw two people's feet. What sort of shoes were they wearing? Shane. Trainers. Yeah, well done. <laughs> All right, can anybody spell Banana Rama? Shane again. B A N. Yeah. A R A M A. No, it's B A N A N A R A M A. I had difficulty reading it, never mind spelling it. Okay, and at the end of that, the yellows have scored two points, but the reds are in the lead with four! <laughs> breather for a moment as we take a break for some music. We caught this lot sneaking out the back door, actually. Facts is the title of their single. Will you please welcome Smashing Group, Matt Bianco!